and we're back with part four. Continuing on. Oh, I'll click like this. There we go. And as you notice, uh, you probably noticed in a little bit, but my Hita I've got Hitalia type, etc., whatever, behind on my desktop. So I'm a huge fan of Hitalia. Moving on. Someone like me. Why? You are someone who has a Piaha. That doesn't sound British at all. What does that mean? A person who is a peer is someone who is the most selfish. Selfless. That's the one who is kind by nature and caring for those closest to them. That's why you can see me. You have a pure heart, Alfred. I see. Were you alone all that time? Yes, I was. Being alone could break anyone's heart. It's like you are isolated from the rest of the world. There's no way of escaping or breaking free from it. There will be tons of people who would feel this. It's a very sad thing. Yeah, no one likes being alone. Hi, Alfred. Yeah? Do you have a mother or father? Alfred? No, not anymore. Huh? So, you didn't? That was a long time ago. Our mother was born feeble. That meant that she was sick a lot more often than normal. Our father tried his best to keep our mother healthy so that we could be a happy family. But sadly, it wasn't meant to be. Mother passed away when Matthew and I were only four years old. That was when everything fell apart. Our father abandoned us two years after Mother died. Matthew and I were so helpless, we were just children. Left behind without a parent to love, we didn't have anyone else. Whenever Matthew was scared of sad, I was there for him. He was just as scared as I was. But I tried to be strong because he and I were all alone. I had to be there for him. I had to protect him. Ah. Uh, luckily, we were found by a man called Francis. He knew the amount of pain we went through, and his eyes showed sympathy. We couldn't stand the suffering that Matthew and I went through. All three of us grew up together as a family. We moved to a neighboring village two years ago. Matthew loved the village that we moved to. The scenery was just beautiful. Well, us Canadians just love scenery. So, that was the life for us. We may have gone through a lot, but we have done well so far because we had each other to support and care for. You must have been very kind brother to Matthew then. You were always there for him and you took care of him when no one else would. You really are a good man. Alfred? Yes, Arthur? You did very well to make it this far, despite what your parents did. What happened to your parents? I believe, wherever they are now, they will always be proud of you no matter what. Really? I'm telling you the truth. I really mean it. Thank you so much, Arthur. That means a lot to me. You are welcome. Let's go. Your brother is waiting for you. Right. Let's go.
I'm gonna go back on Smoke Show. Hello? Ugh. Why just duck them? Ugh! Hello? Hello? Where is that supposed to go? There we go. Alfred? Alfred? What's wrong? Arthur? You know the room where I first encountered you? Yes. Well, I found a letter. You said it was from your father. My father? Yes, I have it right here. My dearest children, as all three of you know, our beloved queen, your mother, has passed away. And now I feel your silence and grief, which leaves me with a problem. Without the Queen, I cannot raise all three of you in the same house. My brother, your uncle Al, has asked me if you were allowed to adopt either of you. To the one in discussion, it has become clear that Arthur did not want this at all. Arthur, I can understand why you would hate me now. Your mother loved you so much. She loved you right until she took her last breath. Please forgive the fool like that I am. I don't know what is going to happen from now on, but I promise we will all stay together no matter what. With love, your father. Father? That was it. Arthur? Yes, it's true. My wife has passed away three days ago. Oh, see. What are you planning to do? What are you referring to? I mean, I thought the rest of your life because the queen is gone. Huh? What is father doing? But, my dear brother Ivan, I'll manage to keep them here. I can still keep them even if they don't have a mother anymore. Really? What are you suggesting then? Well, what if I let the load off your shoulders and adopt one of your children as my own? What? Why is he thinking about giving me one of us up? Brother, I need you to make a decision. A decision. I know. But I need some more time. I need to explain to the children so that they understand. Father! Huh? Oh. It's only you, Arthur. 
son, I know this seems bad, but it's not what you think this is. Oh, really? Look, just let me explain. I don't need you to explain it. You're going to give us one away. Arthur, that's not true. Don't lie, you are thinking about this. Arthur, calm down for a minute. I know what you heard may be a bad decision. But I swear, we can make this work just believing me off. You liar! You said you would tell- you would try to tell us that we can't be a family anymore! You are a stupid liar! I hate you! Father... I'm so sorry, Father. Never meant to shout at you. Arthur? Alfred? I remember that day. It was a few days after Mother died. My father didn't know what to do. He tried to get some help from my uncle. But then I went in and lost it on him. If, if I didn't get angry out about it and take my anger out on him, then... then... None of this would have happened. Arthur. You know that's not true. It wasn't your fault. It's okay, I'm here for you. Alfred. America. Alfred truly is a pure heart. He can see me and he can hug me. I haven't been hugged for 50 years. But he is so warm. It's wonderful. I know I'm dead, but I can still feel his warmth. It's better than feeling nothing. Nothing at all. Minigame. Okay. Let's see. <sighs> After this minigame, it's bedtime and then we'll have to wait for the next one. I didn't click that. Ah, oh, damn arrow key. Ruin my perfect score, would you? Memories and please. Wonder what's in this room. I think that's supposed to say king size bed. Hey, I found something. Gate well done, Al. Now we can open the gate. What fucking gate?
Well, we gotta end it here. Sorry, folks, but we gotta. Bye.